So let's say you have this problem on your Fire TV and you don't have the remote to reset it. Here's one way you can reset your Fire TV cube. So you're gonna to want to use a different device. Uh, obviously I can't use my phone since I'm on it. So I downloaded the Fire TV app to the iPad and I'm going to select the Fire TV cube that I'm having the problem with. As soon as I do that, it gives me a code. So I'm gonna do 5173. And you have to use the ethernet adapter. So what I'm using here, because I can't get on the new Wi-Fi here, I moved this from my other house to this. So I'm using the ethernet adapter. I'm hardwired in to the nearest modem, which is an Eero here. So this is what you need to do if you don't have the remote. So back on the iPad, we have the directional pad. We can enable that. And then we're gonna see if we can go to the home. That's not working, all right? Home, it's not working. So what we're gonna do is click uh, over here. So we're gonna go to the right. We're gonna go over to settings. And then we're gonna go down. We're gonna go over here to my Fire TV. And then click on okay. I'm gonna click on reset to factory defaults. That's the key here reset to factory defaults. That's how to do it if you don't have the remote. And then from there, you will have a factory defaulted Fire TV for which you can connect to your new Wi-Fi network and you can do that all through your Fire TV app. Hope that helps.